Hey everybody, it's Beth. Welcome to Infinite Garden. This week I am comparing six shades of the Jones Road Miracle Balm. Over the Memorial Day holiday, Jones Road offered a limited time mini kit and I picked up five new shades in addition to the one shade that I already had and I'm going to tell you all of my thoughts. If that sounds good to you, please stay tuned. Okay, I'm starting with a bare face. Earlier this week, maybe late last week, I played a trick on myself and I tried a new skincare product that absolutely scalded my face. And so on Tuesday, I had to go into the dermatologist and actually get a prescription grade hydrocortisone cream to fix what this particular product did for me. I usually use the same products all the time, but every once in a while I wanna try something new. My skin is super sensitive and reactive and this one did not agree with me. I wanted to note that in particular because I have found that the Jones Road Miracle Balm has actually been an ally for me in healing from this particular issue. So what I have on my skin right now is some hydrocortisone cream that my dermatologist gave me and then some moisturizer. I wanted to show me using the O Naturel product as a primer, as a you know oil-based primer. The O Naturel is the second Miracle Balm that I purchased, and that compares to the Miami Beach, which was the first one that I purchased. In the promo materials that Bobbi Brown created, she described O Naturel as being colorless, but as having a slightly pearly finish and I wanted to see what this one looked like. So I'm going to use that all over my face as a primer for you to see. So I'm just gonna dig my finger in and grab a little product here. Bobby Brown says to warm it up in your fingers and pat it in. It has a distinctly sort of spa scent and I understand this to be ginger. That doesn't seem to bother me at all. So that is me putting the O Naturel all over my face. What I have found this week as I'm healing is that it seems to provide that extra occlusive barrier that my skin is desperately needing right now. There was an O Naturel that came in the mini set. The mini is 0.3 ounces and the full size is 1.75. So there's a huge differential between the mini and the standard size. So you could apply the other Miracle Balms directly on top of this balm without using a foundation. Because of the current condition of my skin and because I normally use foundation every day, I am going to go ahead and do that now. So I am going to be using the Jones Road What the Foundation. I'm using the color Fair. I've had this now for a couple of months and I've worn it a ton. You can see how much I've used. I've hit bottom in a couple of spots here. And so I'm going to put that on my face right now directly over this Au Naturel. I've got about that much on my hand and I'm going to apply it with my fingers to start. In my previous review of the Jones Road product line, I did share that I like this foundation a lot and that hasn't changed at all. Since that review, I've continued to use it almost every day. I also really like Chanel's Sublimage Le Tente. And so if you are someone who likes that particular product, you may also like the Jones Road What the Foundation. I'm just gonna brush this in here and there. You can see how shiny my skin is. I know that you know makeup as skincare right now is all the rage. I can say that this Jones Road product line really does genuinely feel like makeup as skincare. I do feel like my skin is healthier and better for using it. I think if I were using one of my favorite liquid foundations right now, I think it would really show the dryness and sort of irritated spots that are that are all over my face right now. I feel like the What the Foundation, especially with this Eau Naturel as the base, I feel like these products calm my skin down and then moisturize it and protect it. So I've been very grateful to have them. The set of miniature Miracle Balms that were sold during the Memorial Day sale included a range of colors. And the deepest color in the mix was the color Sunkissed. Now, Bobbi Brown says that this one is especially useful for people with deeper skin tones, and that makes sense to me. It is a very neutral shade, though, and I have found that it is useful for me as a bronzer. And it changed my thinking about what I should be looking for in a bronzer. If you've watched my channel, you know I don't really make a lot of use of bronzer because often it's way too orange. And I think what I'm realizing is that what I might actually need is a deeper bronzer in a neutral tone. So you can see how sheer this one will actually go. I've sheared it out down here. So I'm gonna put some of this 
sun-kissed shade at the top of my forehead. I'm gonna come around here and put a little bit there. So this side has sun-kissed applied as a bronzer. I'm gonna come a little bit down the neck too. So this side has sun-kissed applied as a bronzer and there is only sun-kissed here on this side but nothing in the cheek area. I have been surprised by how much I have liked this particular shade. I think if she hadn't made the minis available, I don't know if I would have chosen this one because I might have thought that it wouldn't work on somebody with my skin tone. But again, these are so sheer and I wanted you guys to see that. I think if you do have deeper skin, it will be very beautiful for you. I'm gonna blend this out with a brush. It is somewhat imprecise. Just for comparison, this Gucci powder bronzer has been my go-to. And lately, I have been enjoying this sun-kissed far more as a bronzer. I think this may have shown me something that I needed to know. It's also beautiful on the lips. It's extremely moisturizing, and I'm really excited about these minis because they're easy to slip in my purse. I hope she continues to offer them. Okay, at this stage in the game, I have Au Naturel all over my face, and I have sun-kissed applied as a bronzer just around the sides of my face. I'm gonna set these to the side and we're gonna focus on the pink toned Miracle Balms that I have in front of me here. So the first Miracle Balm I purchased, period, was Miami Beach, which is a coral with a bit of a gold reflect. So then the mini set included two other shades. We have Dusty Rose, which is a desaturated rose color with some silver reflect and then the color Flushed, which is more of a kind of candy pink, baby pink. All of these are shades that I use in other blush formulas, so I was excited to try all of them. So Dusty Rose is an extremely minimal shade. This particular shade is very close to my natural skin tone and to some of the colors that are already present on my face to the point where the shade plus the sheer format of the formula make the shade very hard to detect. So I'm going to put it on my cheek here just so you can see. Hope you can see this. So I'm patting Dusty Rose on my cheek right now in almost its full strength, just so you can see how pale this really is. Anyway, so here you can see the difference. This is Dusty Rose. This is a bare cheek. And this is what it looks like on the lips. I think when you apply this particular shade to the lips, the silver reflect is more apparent. On this cheek, I'm going to apply flushed. Here you can see what this looks like applied to the finger. This is a very sheer formula. And what you get is a very natural looking flush. So this is Dusty Rose and this is flushed. If you saw me on the street right now, I don't think you would be able to tell the difference between my two cheeks. Rather than wipe this off, I'm actually going to put a little more about the foundation on my face to cover up those two sides and we're going to try the Miami Beach shade. Now I showed this in my previous video, but I was afraid to break the surface. I don't know, there's just something about that. I had a mental block about it and I did get a comment saying that that was necessary. So I finally just went for it and broke the surface. And so. Here it is. I've got a bunch of it on my finger right here. That's Miami Beach. Again, it's a coral with a gold reflect. Miami Beach is a little punchier than the other two shades is what I have found. And I personally like a coral blush a lot. I find that to be a flattering color for me and my skin tone. It always looks summery and healthy. So here is Miami Beach on this side alone. I'm going to apply it to the other side. I have way more than I needed. I'm gonna put a little on my lips. I feel like you can build Miami Beach up a little better than you can the other two shades. This is Miami Beach on my cheeks and lips. Of the three pinky shades that are intended for use as blush, I personally prefer the Miami Beach. I just think that's a good color for me and my skin tone. The other two shades I have found as I've tried to make them work throughout the week, I have found that they aren't strong enough for me and I end up going over them again with a powder blush. So for instance, if I'm using flushed, kind of the baby pink shade, I've been going over it with Dim Infusion from Hourglass. This is another one of the baby pink blushes in my collection and I find that that's a good mate for flushed. If I've been using Dusty Rose, I actually find myself going in for the 
Jones Road Lip and Cheek in English Rose. This product is more pigmented and I generally think it plays beautifully with the What The Foundation. This is Dusty Rose right next to it. You can see Dusty Rose almost doesn't show up next to English Road in the Lip and Cheek formula. So I have been punching up Dusty Rose with English Rose and have found that to be very beautiful. I do prefer the lip and cheek as a cheek product rather than as a lip product, but only because of the color, and I wonder if I chose a different color if I would reverse that opinion. I think the formula feels good in both applications. On me, this particular shade on my lips is maybe a little too gray. So let me just show you. This won't go beautifully with the Miami Beach cheeks, but I can at least show you how it looks on the lips. It's not bad, it just winds up looking a little purple on me. It's a nice product, I like it. If you've been interested in the Miracle Balm for use as blush, I just wanna show you how it compares to other cream blushes in my collection. So starting first with Miami Beach, we'll put that one right here. Miracle Balm in Flushed, and then Miracle Balm in Dusty Rose. The Miracle Balms are super sheer. This is the Merit Flush Balm in Beverly Hills next to Dusty Rose. This is the Jones Road Lip and Cheek in English Rose. The Lip and Cheek in English Rose is somewhere between Flushed and Dusty Rose. Rare Beauty's Liquid Blush in Hope is also a muted Dusty Rose. This one is wildly different in terms of its pigmentation level. And finally, Glossier's Cloud Paint in Puff. This is a bright candy pink, but it shears out really well. I know those swatches were a little messy, but I hope it shows you that the Miracle Balm in the pink colors is incredibly sheer. And if you're someone who likes a more apparent, kind of punchier blush, it might not be the right product for that. And you get so much. This is just so much product. Like a Pat McGrath blush is 0.34 ounces and this is 1.75. I think the Miracle Balms work in a nice way as a blusher, but for me, like I've said, I felt the need in most cases to have to supplement it. I do think Miami Beach gives me enough where I don't need to supplement that shade. Okay, the last one I wanna talk about was a total curveball for me, and this is the shade Magic Hour. This is a kind of medium tone, bronzy shade that has significant shimmer in it. And when I say significant, I really do mean that it has pieces of, I think it's pearl. I think that's what it is. I don't think it's glitter necessarily. When I got this and I started playing with it, my first thought was that this might actually be really nice like on the shoulder or on the arms in the summertime, you know, just to kind of like catch the light a little bit. Here's the difference between my two hands. So when I was trying this, I actually put some on my legs. I wanted to see what it looked like if I was wearing shorts or a skirt in the summertime. Would it be something kind of like, you know, a body oil, a glistening body oil, something like that. So a few days ago, I tried this on my legs and later in the evening, my husband and I were in the basement watching the last couple episodes of Ted Lasso. Anyone else? Did any of you guys like that show? I just loved it. Anyway, we have a lot of overhead lights, like can lights in the basement. And I was sitting on the sofa on the little chaise part with my legs out, and it looked like my legs were covered in straight up glitter. I was like, oh no! Gosh, I'm getting a big package right now. I have two dogs in the house right now, Chewy and Leo, I'm watching my friend's dog right now for the day. The moral of the story here is that Magic Hour isn't just a little reflective, it's almost glittery. And it's to the point where I don't actually want to use it on my face. Its glitteriness has almost a piecey quality, like little pieces of glitter. I'm gonna put a little bit on my shoulder right now just so you can see. I still think it's nice for that purpose. I can see it right now. It looks like I have body glitter on. I'm so surprised by Magic Hour. I think it's probably meant to be put on as something like, you know, highlighter or whatever. I mean, it's glittery the way like a Victoria's Secret body glitter is glittery. It's really surprising to me. And for that reason, I'm not going to show it to you on my face. I just don't wanna do that to myself right now. So I'm gonna finish up my makeup quickly and I'm gonna be back with some final thoughts. 
Okay, I'm back and I completed my makeup. The biggest step I wanted to make sure that you knew I took was that I did powder my face. I used, in this case, the Pat McGrath Loose Setting Powder. I made my way through the Cloud Set Powder, the baked formula, which I love. And I told myself that before I repurchased that, I was going to have to make my way through my loose powders, which I just don't love as much. I think they're just a little too messy and fussy and it's a format issue. Anyway, I did that. You can still see my face looks pretty luminous and I used quite a lot of this. I put on a little eye makeup and we're back. So I want to give you some of my final thoughts after trying this set of minis and getting to understand the line a little bit better. So let me tell you what I would recommend and what I would steer you away from. You probably already know if you made it this far into the video. I am a fan of the Eau Naturelle and I do think that this large 1.75 ounce tub of the Eau Naturelle is a reasonable product amount to be providing. This has a lot of applications and I think I will use all of this and I'll use the little mini as well. I will probably put the mini in my work bag just to be able to use as you know, a little lip balm if needed or wherever else. I think that's a great product. My second favorite in the mix is Sunkissed, the deeper shade. I'm planning to use this as bronzer until I go through this pot. Would I buy a giant pot of it? I don't know. But if she continues to offer minis, I think I would repurchase this as a mini. It's just really great and I'm loving how it looks on my face. It's very natural. As I already mentioned of the three pink tone shades, I prefer Miami Beach after that. I think I like flushed and then finally Dusty Rose. I think Dusty Rose, while beautiful, is just so pale that it winds up not showing up as a blush and I have to supplement it. But don't forget that I really do like this lip and cheek formula. This is the English Rose color. So if this is your shade preference and you were eyeballing that, I would just recommend going with this stick. It performs beautifully with the What The Foundation and I like this a lot. So I would say this over Dusty Rose in the Miracle Balm. And my least favorite I would have to say has turned out to be Magic Hour. I find that it winds up looking exactly like body glitter. I think the only time that I would use this product would be on like a vacation context or a summertime going out context when I wouldn't mind that people could visibly see me wearing what looks like body glitter. And I don't think that Magic Hour is great on the face. So in my personal opinion, I would say skip Magic Hour. I wanna hear from you. Have you tried any of these Miracle Balms? If you have, I really want to hear your thoughts. Which ones have you tried? Have you liked them? Have you found creative ways to use them? That's really what I want to know because I think this product is versatile and I think that it's innovative. So if there's a way that you have been innovating with this product in your own application method, I would love to hear about it below. Is there anything else from this line that you are interested in learning about? Please let me know. I have really liked this Jones Road line. And if you made it this far into the video, I do hope you consider giving it a like. It helps my channel out tremendously. I also welcome you to subscribe. I post videos on Sunday and we have a really lovely community here. I'd love to have you join us. Anyway, I hope that you're all doing well out there and I hope you have a great week ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Talk soon.